I'm a trainer at the Maryland SPCA and I'm here today with my dog Maver and Margie and we're going to teach you 10 steps to prepare your dog for a vet visit. So step one is touching your dog everywhere and a good way to do this is after your dog's gone for a long walk, a hike, playing in the yard, have them settle on mats, have some high value treats ready. Today I've got some boiled chicken. So we're gonna start with Margie here, and I'm just gonna feed her some chicken as I'm just petting her paws, touching her paws, going through her whole body, maybe touching her ears here, pairing it with the food. Good job, Margie, going all the way down her body, touching her tail. You wanna make sure you touch everywhere. And then Maver, Maver's used to being touched everywhere. He likes it. Good job. Touch their feet. Good boy. Good job, guys. Step two is leaning over your dog. A lot of dogs perceive this as a threat. So today we're going to use high value treats and I'm just going to go really slowly. So I'm going to work with Maver here. He's kind of used to me going all the way around him. I'm just going to practice leaning over top of him. Yes. I'm giving him a treat. And then I'll kneel, kind of lean over Margie. Yes, good girl. This is step three, and this is teaching your dog some basic commands such as sit. This would help when your dog goes into the vet's office and they need to sit on the scale. Margie, sit, yes. Down, if your dog needs to settle and the vet wants her to be in a down position. Margie, stand. Yes. And this is pulling your dog out from a down so that they can stand up. Even teaching your dog spin and twirl. This way you can move your dog without force. Sit. Yes. And touch target. Yes. Yes. And this can distract your dog while the vet's doing something and give paw. This way they get used to having the paw being held. Good job, Marty. Excellent. Tip number four, getting your dog acclimated to a muzzle. You may not need a muzzle at the vets, but you never know if your dog is injured or hurting enough, their behavior may change. So the way to get your dog acclimated to the muzzle, first step we're gonna do is bring the muzzle out and high value treats rain from the sky. Chicken appears. And then the muzzle goes away, the chicken goes away. So we'll do that one more time. The muzzle appears and it's raining chicken. And then the chicken goes away when the muzzle goes away. For more information on teaching your dog how to get acclimated to a muzzle, go to muzzleupproject.com. This is tip number five, getting your dog used to noises that could be at your vet's office, such as razors or clippers. Um, if you don't happen to have a set, you can use either a man's or a woman's electric razor. Um, just getting them used to the sound is what we wanna do. So right now I'm gonna put this behind my back and I'm gonna pair it as I turn it on with high value treats, just so Margie gets used to the sound. Yes and then turn it off, and then the treat goes behind my back. Good. So now I'm gonna bring it out a little bit closer, so it's gonna be a little bit louder for her. Nice. Good girl. And now I'm gonna set it a little bit closer to her. I'm always pairing it with that high value treat. Good job. Good girl, Margie. Tip six, and this is getting your dog used to some of the smells that might be in a vet's office, such as hydrogen peroxide, maybe some stronger smelling ear cleaners, and even some alcohol spray. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of peroxide on a cotton paw here, and just put that out, kind of let Margie get a little used to that smell. Um, you know, can do a cotton ball with a little bit of ear cleaner on it, a little bit of 
of that, let them kind of get used to the little sniff it a little bit, get them used to the scent, and then just take it away. This is tip number seven, using pheromones to help calm your dog before your vet visit and even during your vet visit. Pheromones come in different forms, such as sprays. They also come as collars and in treat form as well. What I like to do for Margie's visit is I take the spray and I'll spray a little bit on her towel. This way she'll have this in the back of the car. And also when we get to the clinic, I will use the towel as a mat for her to lay on. So tip number eight, prior to your vet visit, get some high value treats ready, um, an assortment of treats. Uh, today I have boiled chicken, dried liver, some kibble, and some soft treats. Um, this way we have a variety here to keep your dogs busy. You can do some tricks with them while you're waiting for the vet. We have their favorite toy here to keep her preoccupied. Um, and also bring a mat from home. This can help your dog settle down a little bit. Sit down. Yes, good girl. So tip number nine, getting your dog used to the scale at the clinic. Uh, the scale can be a pretty scary thing sometimes for dogs because it's a different surface for them. So one thing that you can do is getting your dog acclimated to different surfaces. Uh, today I have a small agility stable ball that I've been working with Margie on. Just getting her used to stepping up and being over top of, on top of different surfaces. Margie, yes. Yes. I'm just luring her with some good high value treats. Good girl. Yeah. Right now we're at a playground where there's AstroTurf here, so she's getting used to walking here on the AstroTurf. Let me see if I can get her used to jumping up on something. Yes. Good girl. And here's another different surface that she's getting used to her feet being on. What a good girl. And down. Sit. Yes. Good job, thank you Margie. So tip number 10, scheduling a meet and greet with your vet, whether it's for a senior dog or even a younger puppy. Um, unfortunately, due to COVID, you may have to have a tech come out and bring your dogs in. But this way they can get used to the sounds and smells of the clinic, um, used to the scale, and also get used to having treats being given to them by technicians. It just makes a good association, a good positive 